Hello everyone, how are you? It's me, Elizabeth, and um, today is Sunday, September 20th, and I wanted to come to you today from sort of my backyard. This was my, my hike today in my neighborhood in Sedona, and I wanted to come to you from Thunder Mountain and do um, a collective energy update for the week for everyone as we are approaching the vernal equinox, sun is moving into Libra, we're moving into autumn, and we have this beautiful new moon in Virgo um, this week. And um, for those of you who have been, you know, following me and are subscribed to my channel, I know I didn't get out your um, September uh, messages by each sign. So it's just to kind of close out the month, I wanted to give you a collective energy update and just offer my apologies um, for not getting your messages out this month. I've been processing a lot and um, really felt like I would be um, doing a disservice if I made videos for you this month, really, uh, to be completely honest with you. So um, October is a new month though, and I'm really, I'm really feeling it. So. I'll get your October messages out within the next few weeks. Um, but for now, just wanted to do um, an, an energy update and collective reading for everyone, for the collective, um, with, with this behind me. So this is kind of like a gift to myself, a gift to you, and um, just welcome you into the energy of Sedona, Thunder Mountain behind me, uh, just the powerful, magnificent, energy of Thunder Mountain. And if I'm crunching, it's because I just ate, um, <laughs> I just found a piece of, um, of, of, um, tree sap, pine. So it was like, I just ate some pine sap. I know that sounds crazy, but let me just take a sip. And we'll get started. <clears throat> so anyway, I hope that you're all doing really well. Um, and I hope that you enjoy, you know, just the, the scenery here. And let's get you some messages. We're going to use Light Sears Tarot today and see what messages want to come out for the collective. I also have a special Oracle card deck with me, and that's the Crystal A Lab Oracle by Kiara Kyan. She's from Sedona. Um, and it's like an astrology lab, so we'll get some messages from that as well. So I call in the divine with love and light. And I call in the archangels at the four corners of the world. I call in the six elements, earth, air, fire, water, spirit, and ether to join us here today. I call in the guides, the galactics, and the ancestors as well. And let's get, uh, we'll start with three cards. Three cards, please, for the collective. Judgment wanted to pop out. New beginnings. Second chances. Forgiveness. Our divine purpose. And I just saw 333 three, three when I said divine purpose. Yeah. The Ascended Masters, let's welcome them in as well. Three messages, please, for my dear friends, family, collective. And this is a timeless reading. So if you see this a week from now, three weeks from now, three months from now, it's the perfect time for you. High Priestess wanted to pop out. Okay. So we're going to take three cards to start. Four of Pentacles, holding on to our resources for dear life. Page of Pentacles, nice, a lot of earth energy coming in. And the devil, yeah, you guys. So this week, you know, you're gonna be possibly like really uh, holding your resources very close to you, really sort of examining, um, you know, what you have on deck, like what, what resources you have. Um, and with the Page of Pentacles, this is like, you know, new job opportunity. This could be the start of something new. You're really thinking about um, 
you know, perhaps like uh, moving into a new position, into a new job, how you can make more money at your job. Like you've been really um, having to be very resourceful, I want to say. And so you're looking at like how, how you can leverage, um, how you can leverage more out of what you currently have. Um, now with the devil coming in, it is saying that perhaps this four of coins could be out of fear because, you know, here's, here's our dear friends, the devil. And, you know, and he, he brings the fear and he brings the, this, the doubt and, um, to where we don't feel empowered. So if you are holding on, you know, this week you could really be feeling like, you know, um, you have to hold on really tight to everything that you have. And this doesn't just have to be money. This could be, you know, um, the people in your life, you know, relationships, friends, like just really afraid to let go of something. Um, but the page is coming in to say, to say like, uh, you know, the pages, it's a young energy. It's not, um, it's not so mature. It's, it's young. It's a little bit more risky. And so it's saying like, you know, just like chill because, uh, you, you know, if you are able to kind of like get over this fear that there's something new waiting for you and even like, look at how amazing this pentacle is this sort of mandala and he's even or she because this energy here this page here to me is very um could be male could be female <clears throat> excuse me and um you know he or she is just very chill like in that tree pose just very like feeling very grounded very stable look at that beautiful mandala in the middle of the you know <coughs> excuse me the pine forest and um very relaxed so if you can like unclench your grasp whatever it is that you're trying to control um to remove the fear a little bit like i feel like this week is going to be kind of a test with a new moon you know we can set powerful intentions it's a new moon in Virgo, so it's interesting that Pentacles energy is coming out, and the Devil is a Capricorn energy, so it, this is literally all Earth energy right here. And I'm feeling like this is also a message to everyone from Gaia herself, because I'm sitting on, on a rock, you know, and I'm, it's funny, I was sitting here and there was a little crevice in the rock and it just had like these teeny tiny little quartz points like sticking out from it. So I'm sitting on earth and that earth is like loaded with quartz crystal. So it's amplified and I'm in a vortex right now and I've got Thunder Mountain behind me. So this is also a message from Gaia, like uh, to let go this week, let go of fear um, and embrace new energy embrace new energy pentacles doesn't just have to be about money or career or home it can be relationships it can even be how you feel in your heart space how you process you know your mental body it's all connected mind body spirit emotions it's all one and um and so if you can you know this week let go of the fear ground yourself and come from um a more I don't know like lighten up a little bit this week really lighten up this week if you can like you can see with this devil he's cosmically connected you know he's not all bad and he has important lessons to teach us and that's why he's got stars in his hair you know um because he does have a cosmic connection uh, and he brings in lessons. So the lesson is about control, I feel like. And the lesson is about not holding on so much that you move into the five where you're feeling total lack. It's almost like to embrace a fresh energy this week um, and see if you can let go of your fear, overcome your fear. It really is a test. Let's see what was at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, the three of wands. So here's that fire coming in and the three of that manifestation energy to say like, um, you know, what you've been working on, what you've been working on manifesting is it's right there. It's coming in. Your ships are coming in for you and there's going to be success. So if you've been feeling like really, really feeling like, um, you've just been having to uh, control everything around you f because of fear, because of fear, like let go this week and allow, allow
allow the magic to come. Allow the magic magic to come and allow like a fresh start. Allow a new energy. Allow yourself to lighten up and feel sort of like uh, a little bit more carefree, I want to say. More carefree. And just feel like ground yourself also with this new moon in Virgo. Um, the Ace of Pentacles like popped out. So maybe that was the true bottom of the deck. Yeah, you guys, there is an opportunity here for something new. There is an opportunity for great success. This is the acorn. You know, this is your magic acorn that can grow into a giant oak tree. Um, this is tangible. This pentacle is growing roots already. You see, like, it's all earth energy. It's so interesting uh, how much earth energy is coming through probably this new moon in Virgo, like really, really set your intentions, you guys, really set them with this new moon, really dream big, like dream big is what I'm hearing, set your sights high, um, but have it planted firmly, you know, have it be practical and planted firmly, and I just saw 1111, planted firmly, plant it firmly, plan it well, um, come from a practical place with this new moon in Virgo and then moving into Libra season it's like you know partnerships and who we can partner with and and really working on our relationships too and um and really trying to put the fear aside that double energy is so prevalent so let's um we're gonna put these here under a rock because it's kind of windy out and you know what let's move on um we can always get more tarot for you guys. Let's move on to the Crystal A Lab, the Astrology Lab deck that I've been loving so much. Um, and let's get you some messages from this Astrology Lab deck and see what this week. Some of you could have a new job opportunity this week. Some of you could have like an opportunity um, even to move. Um, just an opportunity to partner with someone else, um, really like turn something, uh, turn an idea into something solid this week, uh, but you may be feeling scared. And if you do have to invest anything, um, any money, if you're feeling like in order to do something, you have to invest a little bit of money, that's where that four of coins was coming in, like feeling like you don't want to invest your money with it. But the Page of Pentacles with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands is saying like, it'll pay off this week. If there is something you've been thinking about investing in, but you're scared, um, the let's see what the astrology deck wants to say, but the tarot is saying like, do it, okay? Whoa, there's too many cards, too many cards, too many cards. All right, so we're gonna take, uh, we'll start with one card from this deck and try not to have them. I don't want to donate my cards today to Thunder Mountain. I love you, Thunder Mountain, but don't feel like donating my cards to you. Um, Shadow wanted to pop out, but I'm not, I'm not taking jumpers today because the cards are super jumpy. I think just because of the vortex energy, like the cards are super jumpy here. So, but Shadow wanted to pop out and that's that double energy. So we're going to honor that. Um, you know, that is that double energy and that is, you know, that Capricorn energy of like persisting through it. Like it's okay. Do, do not repress it. Don't repress the fear, you know, face it. Don't repress it. Face it head on this week. And if you're feeling, you know, worry, whatever it is, this Mars retrograde in Aries, the anger, like feel it, but don't get stuck in it. You guys like you know, this new moon, set your intentions and dream big. Um, and whatever you're coming up against, whatever fears you're coming up against this week, face them. Face them. You can do it. Have faith. Call on your guides. Call on your angels this week. Call them in. They're there with you. You're not alone. mental body turn it on when needed then live presently from a place of the divine mind it's like that king of swords high priestess energy like come from the divine mind you know okay one card silence 
I love this. And this is uh, Gemini energy. Silence as an element. Willingness to work within and grow through self-awareness. So really go within this week for answers. It's a dark moon. So it's really a great time to do that. So take a, take a long walk in nature, meditate, pray, um, and just be silent as much as you can. This can also be about miscommunications. It is about communicating. Uh, Gemini energy, third house communication. And really and truly that silence is a form of communication. This could be like, turn off the TV this week, get off of Facebook this week, get off of Instagram this week, get off of YouTube this week, whatever that looks like for you to turn it off, to maybe not hear stuff from the outside, to just go within and be aware of what you're telling yourself about what your higher self is telling you. It, it's a willingness to do it though. Even if it's like for a day, you know, one day, if you have decisions to make, if you're watching this and you have some important decisions to make, uh, to really just take the time to go within. And this could signal like, if you've been having miscommunications with other people, maybe just to back off and be quiet. If this is online stuff and this is like all of the rhetoric that's going on back and forth maybe it's just a time just to be quiet you know I really love that silence came out it's a number six linked into the lovers in the tarot sixth house also Virgo house of Virgo um, new moon in Virgo six is also where we like rebalance and reharmonize things and silence is powerful. You know, nobody can quote your silence. Think about that too. But really just about going within, the willingness to work within and to grow, like that there that there's growth in that through your own self-awareness. So if we're talking about, you know, this page of pentacles with this ace of pentacles, this new energy that wants to come in through the collective but then there's sort of this more stuck energy because these two energies are very stuck. This is growth right here, massive growth and opportunity. And this is the old way and being stuck. And so if you are wavering between these two this week, just be silent. Go into your own space, your own inner sanctuary. I want to say, uh, make to make some decisions or just see what answers come to you or just see what changes in that silence. See how the silence changes things. See how the silence can shift the energy, right? So let's pull another Oracle card. Um, at the bottom of the deck is Scorpio. So yeah, going into that shadow, maybe understanding the devil, the shadow, um, to understand it better. Where is this fear coming from? Is this fear co actually coming from me? Am I actually afraid? Or is it external influences that are that are making me feel afraid? If I shut that out, if I shut it off, am I still afraid? I shut it out am I still afraid the shadow Scorpio understand shadow in all aspects accept forgive and love unconditionally for some of you this new start is perhaps about forgiving someone forgiving a situation moving on from old relationships old patterns the devil the four of coins where we're holding on to toxic situations, holding on to toxic people, holding on to toxic relationships, holding on to, this is, could just be us holding on to our own 
uh, toxicity that's within us, our own habits, our own patterns, or, you know, and then that could be reflected in our real life. Toxic situations, toxic people, whatever you want to call it. And Scorpio is like going into that to understand why that's happening, you know, and just to accept, heal, you know, accept it, forgive it and move on. Give it love and move on. Give your shadow love. Give the shadow love and move on to something new, something brand new. In the physical, you know, this is tangible stuff, things you can see, feel, and touch. It's really beautiful. It's a beautiful energy that wants to come in. So um, let's get you one more Crystal A Lab card, one more message for the collective, please for this week, for the new moon, for ooh, the vernal. Okay, you guys, you can't make this up. The shadow, the shadow, the shadow. Look at that. And this is dark moon energy, right? The skies are gonna be really dark tonight, tomorrow night, the night after. Embrace the darkness, um, shadow of your own soul. This energy tests your self-love. How much do you love yourself, you know? Um, it's perseverance to succeed and trust in yourself. And I say this a lot about our dear friend, the devil, okay? He can be the greatest coach you've ever had. Your own fear. You know, the shadow, the fear, feeling like you don't have any control, like, you know, or like the world, like the world is out of control and there's this, you know, nefarious energy that's just like the puppet master to the whole world and that we don't have any control. Like, um, uh, really going into that because Raven. Raven energy, right? This is so, um, and this is, uh, in this deck, this is Pisces energy, you know, getting into that duality, getting into, um, the, the, like into the swamp of things, uh, Scorpio coming out, Pisces coming out, you know, um, it is a test of how much we love ourselves. I just saw 2222. It's a test. That's duality, transcending duality. Of how, it's a test of how much we love ourselves, how much we can persevere through our own dark night of the soul, through the dark night of the collective, knowing that, look, there's light in there. There is light in there. There is light in that shadow. There is light in the darkest night. There is light. And um, really like persevering. This is Capricorn energy. Capricorn, the mountain goat. How does it get up that mountain? Could you imagine, you know, like how it perseveres. Capricorn, Saturn. If we do the work, if we persevere, if we keep moving through it uh, and love ourselves through it and not judge ourselves so much, if we're having a really bad day where we're just like fully in our fear, or in an addiction, or in a negative thought pattern, like that the, that the sun is gonna come out the next day. So it's persevering through it. So this week, you know, wrapping up the summer, coming into new energy, you know, fresh new energy of a new season, just like push through it, guys. Push through it, get, you know, really, really push through it. Like there is a light at the, at the end of all of this. and. Um, and look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Get out there and earth yourself. I feel like Gaia is really going to be able to support us this week. Um, and I, and you can't make this up at the bottom of the deck is Pluto. You know, this is death and this is transformation. Like collectively we are, I feel like I'm yelling. Um, I hope that these people down there are like, what is this girl doing up here? There's like houses down there. But anyway, um, you know, this is death. This is transformation. It's not pretty. Change will take place whether or not you embrace it. Let go and accept. Let go. That four of coins that came out, like stop hoarding it. Just let go. Really see what you can let go of this week. Again, more Scorpio energy. Pluto. Change will take place whether or not you embrace it. Let go and accept. So this is a week of really letting go. This is a week of um, 
moving through fears. This is a week of welcoming in new energy, okay? So let's get a couple more tarot cards, and I think we'll keep this to like 30 minutes. Um, I'm gonna upload this to my YouTube channel, and um, yeah. All right, final messages for the collective. Final messages for the collective. I think we'll take uh, two cards, please. Two cards. What a great reading. Yeah, I'm just going to take it. Judgment. It's We have been going through so much change. I don't even remember the last time I did a collective reading. I think it was like back when I was living way out in Sedona, like in the middle of nowhere. And I think I went out to a cave during the beginning of the pandemic. Um, and since then, it's like we're totally different people, totally different people, massive awakening. Uh, judgment is a 20. It's all of the fives combined. So it is the five of cups, the five of wands, the five of swords and the five of pentacles all wrapped into one where there has been massive change on all fronts. You know, it's been chaotic and out of that has come like a massive awakening, a new chance, like moving um moving into our our divine soul's purpose this is forgiving others this is forgiving self this is an opportunity for a new life essentially you know rising up um really knowing ourselves really knowing ourselves knowing who we are knowing what we're worth knowing where we came from knowing where we want to go you know, all of these magical things, but it hasn't been an easy process. It hasn't been easy. Like we're almost to the completion, but in a sense we are because at the bottom of the deck was the fool. There's that new beginning. There's like returning to the, you know, the faith of a child. The fool ha hasn't learned any of the lessons yet. You know, here we have learned the lessons. Like we're almost to the world and here we're just reborn. So it's speaking to me even of death and rebirth with all of that Pluto energy, the Scorpio and the Pluto energy and the devil and all of that coming out. Like we've really, really learned the lessons and we're ready to, to really make something great with that seed of life there you know, to really manifest something really amazing. And I think that this summer has been, you know how, um, and for the children, you know, just hold them really close in your heart, even if you don't have children, like, uh, because I think of back to school. And you know, when you were a kid, like you would spend the summer doing what you do. Some kids go off to camp, some kids, you know, go away for the summer to see their grandparents, some kids, you know, but you don't see all of your schoolmates uh, during the summer. And then you all come back to school in September, let's just say, and you see how everybody's changed and you see who's grown more, who's gotten taller, you know, uh, who started going through puberty or like who got braces or whose hair got really long or who cut their hair all of that you just see how people have changed over a summer and I feel like that's what this summer has been for us as adults is like we're coming into fall really really different than we started in the very beginning of the summer um, so it's really beautiful really really beautiful message um, and let's just see what was at the top of the deck the emperor, I mean, right on, like, here's that Mars and Aries energy, like we, with all of these retrogrades happening, you know, we're really um, going to come into our own power, because everything just feels like it's turned upside down, or like things have been, you know, halted a little bit, maybe things aren't moving forward as quickly as we'd like them to, but that we are going to really be coming into a position of great, great power. There's a lot of opportunity coming in and it starts this week with letting go of fear, letting go of control, welcoming a new energy, having faith, taking a leap of faith, you know, really and truly taking a big leap of faith and knowing, you know, that, um, that we have changed 
that we are not the same people that we used to be. We've learned a lot. We've been through a lot. Um, so it's also just a time to really congratulate yourself, love yourself, you know, really work. If the shadow is there, which it's always going to be there, but if it's like, if it's feeling a little more prevalent this week, if you're moving through some shadowy energy, give it love. Really and truly give it some love. Um, get out, get out onto the earth and um, yeah, I'll just, I'm going to move this way. And remember, some silence. Okay. All right, my friends, I love you guys so much and um, thank you for staying with me this month and I will be working on your October readings um, for all signs. The Not this week, I have a really busy week coming up, but um, certainly next week. So I love you all so much. I wish you nothing but the best. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me, please reach out. I would be so happy to work with your budget first and foremost. Um, just during these times, you know, I really want to be able to offer something for everyone. So just reach out to me. We can do that by phone. Uh, we can do it by video, like however you wanna do that. So I love you guys. All the best. Take care. Okay, much love. Bye-bye.